friend of mine. happening. Let me tell you, we're only here because our friends Girl Trouble are here. So before we do anything, we want to say, Girl Trouble, thanks a million. All right, baby. Because they let us use these beautiful drums, beautiful amplifier here, and because they're really beautiful people. And I mean that from the bottom of my soul. And uh, listen, they got this new record out, Hit It or Quit It. It's an LP. And, uh, well, I call it one of the two best records, the two best albums in the Northwest all year. It's got to be up there in the top two. What's the other one? We're going to be playing about half of it here tonight. So, uh, so check it out, dude. Uh, what's, what's this thing? All right, so... Uh, Turn into a 
next song we're going to play. <coughs> Excuse me. A little bit faster than usual. Oh, 
Vicky. Coming up next, baby. Check this one out, all right? <laughs> Saw the head off a scarecrow, burn its eyes with lead. Make a crown of barbed wire, leave it under your bed. I'll come running with a heart on fire. I'll come running with a heart on fire. I'll come running with a heart on fire. Then baby, you'll be digging my grave. Baby, you'll be digging my grave. Take a beat and a pole bean, rotting wrapped in hay, spit into the middle. Cover it with clay, I'll come running with a heart on fire. I'll come running with a heart on fire. I'll come running with a heart on fire. I wonder what made you stay. I wonder what made me stray. Baby's got a jar of cider. Used for making hearts melt. Baby knows chicken wire. Don't make no chastity belt. Drive a stake into the river. Cap it with a bone. Hear that blackbird con. It be my tombstone. Now I'm running with a heart on fire. Now I'm running with a heart on fire. Now I'm running with a heart on fire. Baby, you can lick the flames. Baby, you can lick the flames. Baby's got my heart's desire. Swinging from a trophy belt. Baby knows a funeral pyre. Don't get put out with no beaver pelt. Dig a sack of potatoes. Throw it in my grave. Fill it full of buckshot. Just count the days, I'll come running with a heart on fire. I'll come running with a heart on fire. I'll come running with a heart on fire. Then baby, you'll make me pay. Then baby, you'll make me pay. Then baby, you'll be digging my grave. Baby, I'm just counting the days. <laughs> Like, okay, that was like my, that's the Halloween song we wrote. It's called Gravedigger Blues. And you know, I wanted to take this time right now to get to know some of you people out there because, you know, we come to Boston and, you know, it's just like it's these crazy tours, you know, it's just like we're going all over the world, you know, these world capitals, Tokyo, London, Berlin, Washington, D.C., and it's like we don't have time to just meet the folks, meet the people out there that are coming to these shows and paying the rent. All right, so, hey, listen, Joe, what's your name there, buddy? Uh, Alex Clark. Alex. And where are you from, Alex? Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Let's hear it for Pittsburgh here, huh? What do you say? So that's like uh, the steel town, right? Yeah. Well, let me, let me ask you this, Alex. When you're down in Pittsburgh, what's your favorite candy bar down there in Pittsburgh? Oh, hell, I don't know. I think like um, Twix. No, no, Zagnut, yeah. Zagnut. Hey, he's a Zagnut. All right. That's cool. All right, now this... Who's this, 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 this distinguished gentleman? What, what's your name? Uh, Nino. Nino. And where are you from? Uh, Youngstown, Ohio. All right. Buck guy. We got a buck guy here. All right. So tell me, when you're in Ohio, what's your, I mean, what's your favorite candy bar? 
Uh, let's see, probably a milkshake, I think. <laughs> milkshake, good choice, good choice. Excellent bar. Hey, young lady there, what, what, are you going to apply for that waitress job? No, I'm just going to get a beer. Okay, what, what's your name? Um, my name's Kim, uh, Kim Murphy. Kim, and where are you from? I'm, hi, I'm, I'm from Dayton, Ohio. Another Buckeye here. How about that? It's a, it's a Buckeye night here. What, do you guys get in half price or something? What's going on? Well, um, they let us in free, actually. Whoa. Who, who, who did that? <laughs> okay, wait a minute. I gotta ask you an important question. What's your favorite candy? Your, um, uh, milkshake will do. Chocolate. Does that count? Yeah, yeah, it counts. <laughs> How's that? All right, man, that's cool. Now, isn't anybody here from Boston? That's what I want to know. Anybody from Boston here? This guy, what's your name? Uh, Patrick. Patrick, and what's your favorite candy? Uh, I'd say I have to say a milkshake, too. We have got, it's, it's practically unanimous. Alex, do you want to change your vote? Here. Uh, yeah, I do, sorry. Okay. Well, you know, I'm a little disappointed. First of all, I thought we'd get a lot of these Bostonites up here in the front row. I guess it's the out of tiners that are a little more aggressive or something. But, um, you know, these, these out of towners, these Ohioans thrashing in the pit here, got a guy from Pittsburgh. That's practically Ohio. But, you know, I figured we'd get a lot of Bostonites here, and they'd be saying, chocolate and echo wafers, right? That's what I assumed was going to happen here. And I, I wanted to take this opportunity to, to introduce you all to something really important to us out in the Northwest. And that's the Idaho Spud Candy Bar. Now I brought this out here. It's a little worse uh, wear and tear here from the trip. It's a little beat up, but it's still, it's still got that Idaho Spud taste. Oh, you're from Idaho. What, what part of Idaho? That's where they make these things. So right here. The candy bar that made Idaho famous. It's got a little, some eyes all over it. Now if you're a Girl Trouble fan, if you've read their fanzine wig out, if you've read the column Snacking with Frank, you know I got the five star thumbs up from them and what higher recommendation could you have? So, this is my favorite candy bar and I hope that after tonight it's going to be somebody out there's favorite candy bar too. Okay, so, here's a little song we wrote about that Idaho Spud candy bar.
church. Okay, now you guys, what I want you to do is just shut the fuck up, all right? Okay. But you don't have to, I mean, hey, listen, it's your six dollars, right? Okay. Out of here. I learned this from George Michael, okay? Heather and I went and saw him last month.
about the things you know. My head feels like TV snow, cause I got something in my eye. I can't tell, don't know why, I don't know what that say. Nobody taught me, teach me today, what that say, I can't see. And they, uh, let me tell you, we were playing in uh, New York on Friday, and uh, they happened to be playing in New York at a different place. So you know how it is, you know, you're in a rock band, and you get together with the other guys in the rock band, you sit around, tip back a few brews, you know, do a little Indian leg wrestling, and uh, uh, I, I forget what I was going to say there. Okay, so we're going to do this song called... Um, Here's a new tune, a new crazy tune that uh, we wrote just for y'all here in Boston. Uh. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. What like, no one, people, people can't there can't hear you. Hold on. All right, we got two more bands that gotta play. It's almost 11:30. It's 11:25. So, cut it out, Francis. So at the most, two more songs and a little banter. Calvin, your microphone, sir. Hey, listen, you know, so it's 11.25, so if anybody's got like a curfew, you got to be home by midnight. You might want to leave right after this next tune. That's, I guess, thank you, Billy, for that. Uh, could you, if you have a watch that you could leave up here and so we can make sure that anybody... But, uh, well, I'll tell you what, we'll make a compromise. We'll skip this song because it's kind of that good anyway, you know. Yeah, buy the album, all right? Don't worry about it. Uh, we'll do this other one instead.
crash your car. You want to lose your boyfriend. You ought to do it soon. TV girl. Okay, we got a little medley here for our last song. A little medley. And uh, starting it out. A couple of big hits, uh, always popular with uh, young ladies. And might I add, uh, young ladies in the audience tonight, following us directly is Girl Trouble. And um, don't worry about that name. Really, they're sweet guys. And they'd like to meet a few of you tonight after the show. So just, uh, they're sitting around. Where are you guys, anyway? They're cute. They're really cute. Well, I don't see them out there, but check it out. Because uh, they wanted... I mean, I brought them on this trip, and I promised all this stuff, and so far nothing's really been working out, so come on, give me a break. Shadow in my direction. Cast a shadow in 
requested by Girl Trouble, they said, Calvin, don't go off that stage tonight without playing this next, next big tune. It's one of them oldies, but a goodie. Uh,